Update 4 on Super Typhoon Mesa, currently with winds of 150 miles per hour and a pressure of 925 millibars, 240 kilometers per hour as it approaches the Philippines, now leaving behind uh, Yap State in Micronesia. Its position is 11.6 degrees north, 135.6 degrees east as of 2 p.m. UTC April 1st. The storm is expected to head towards the Philippines and it looks at this point that the storm may make landfall somewhere in the north than half of Luzon possibly as a category 3 storm or maybe a little bit weaker than that but by the looks of things we may well be seeing a typhoon landfall uh, in, no in the northern part of the Philippines um, along the eastern coast of Luzon perhaps in Aurora province though it could be north or south of that yet um, we'll find out more definitely in the coming days I'm sure uh, at, at the moment it's still a very strong storm this is a graphic from um, from the National Weather Service in Guam as well showing where the wind distribution is uh, sending the storm in the next few days most likely um, and the southern part of Luzon, the southeastern area there may be seeing some storm conditions by the time we get to April the 4th landfall appears to be on April the 5th early hours of the morning um, so that whole area around Luzon possibly including Manila as well uh, could be seeing storm conditions on April the 3rd and the 4th uh, still a few days out yet. Sea surface temperatures are fairly warm at this point, around 28 degrees Celsius, but slowly going down a little bit. Um, and what is also becoming less conducive at this time, as well as the wind shear as well, um, closing in on the storm somewhat. Uh, it's higher amounts growing on the eastern side of the storm. Uh, towards the north, very high amounts. This has been the case for some time uh, near the Philippines as well. High amounts of wind shear there, which may tear apart this storm. Uh, and this is the latest frame on the water vapor imagery, dry air off towards the northwest. Um, and it appears that the southeastern side of the storm, southwestern rather, um, is fading a little bit. And you can see here's the latest satellite imagery of how the storm's been progressing. Certainly not looking as good as it did yesterday when we were live last night on our update. Um, you can see it there how it's been progressing. The western side in particular seems to be starting to go on the wane. Uh, so it appears that the storm is beginning its weakening trend, uh, a trend that is likely to continue all the way until landfall due to uh, increasingly unfavorable conditions over the next few days. Um, that's of course what Filipinos will be hoping for at this time. Uh, as of April the 1st at 2pm UTC, of course we have the Typhoon, but we have some other systems active as well, Invest 91 and 92S in the Indian Ocean, as well as Invest 99W uh, near the Marshall Islands, not too far from where Maysac formed, um, near Micronesia now as well. Uh, so that one could become another Typhoon in the next few days. 20 tropical storms have formed so far in 2015 worldwide. 11 have become Category 1 typhoons or their equivalents around the world with winds of 74 miles per hour or higher. 7 becoming Category 3 storms with winds of 115 miles per hour plus. And of course this storm is the fourth to become a Category 5 storm around the world of course. Uh, you can visit Force 13 on any of our outlets. The website force13.com is the main place to be for all the goings on around the world storm wise. Of course we're on YouTube, past and present videos on the Force 13 channel uh, and of course the social pages which will have regular updates Force 13 on Facebook and Twitter. You can also speak to me personally at Fool13 on Skype for Tropical Weather Chat and to join our chat room there as well. We're going to be live again this evening at 11pm UTC on April the 1st in local time in the Philippines. That's going to be 7am on April the 2nd. You don't want to miss it. Uh, for now, though, that's all from me.